we are marching here today because you know we are celebrating the International Worker Day, and you know, like you like you can see here, it's all the community is united, <clears throat> and you know, we still have a dream to accomplish. Like you see here, you know, it's a lot of diversity. Well, you know, we always work and we always have a struggle here with this economy, you know, especially with non-union companies, right? When non-union companies pay, you know, eight dollar per hour to to the, the the same worker that the union industry make, you know, thirteen dollar with thirteen fifty. That's the struggle I think the working face in this today. Well, this is a celebration of, of us as workers. This is our day, the day of all over the world. This is also a demonstration, this one in particular, for immigrant rights. And our union is 70% immigrant. Local 17, unite here. 70% immigrant, and which is nothing new because it's always been heavily immigrant, you know. Well, I think labor has gotten as low as it could possibly get in the country, and I think now it's starting to rebuild. In our industry, when our contract um, is signed, for the hotels in Minneapolis, for the hotels in St. Paul, all the all the other restaurants and hotels that are non-union raise their ra their wages, you know, to keep tr to keep with us or close to us at any rate, you know. This is not only a Latino issue, but it's an immigrant issue across the board. The immigrants are facing really, you know, hard time right now, and I think this is the the time to organize and think in the future, right?